Don Lemon, once again, is in the news. Now, of course, this is not going to be covered on the white media uh, as much because, remember, they have to maintain and protect white supremacy. But Don Lemon, we're going to recap, he made the statement about white men being the biggest terror threat in America. Of course, a lot of the right-wing males got upset about that, the white males. And they had an issue with that. And you remember we did a story where he was being threatened and the Manhattan DA dropped the charges on a open white supremacist. They were threatening to stab Don Lemon in his neck and sending other threats. He felt that it wasn't worth prosecuting because it was just gonna be a misdemeanor and he would get maybe six months in jail. And we talked about how, you know, white supremacy all works together and they're not trying to punish white supremacists like that. So Don Lemon has an open white supremacist terrorist that's allowed to run crazy and has been emboldened by the Manhattan DA. And we suggest that people in Manhattan vote that particular guy out. We showed his picture in the last video. Now it's another white supremacist and they constantly making Don Lemon right. That's the thing. The more, when you want to try to make Don Lemon not right, when you want to have some sort of counter to Don Lemon, but they know they don't have a counter to what he said. So they're going to just go ahead and just wild out. So they have a guy, um, out of Arkansas. Um, he made about 40 threatening calls to CNN headquarters and it was aimed at Don Lemon. Now a guy by the name of Benjamin Craig Matthews, 39 was taken into custody and remained jailed on $15,000 bond. Uh, the Baxter County Sheriff's office announced, uh, he was charged with several felony counts of making terroristic threats. Guess Don Lemon was right again, along with nine misdemeanor counts of harassing communications and four counts of second degree terrorist threats. Um, uh, according to the Baxter bulletin, uh, so the Atlanta police contacted uh, Sheriff John Montgomery to report that CNN Atlanta headquarters had received a string of threatening phone calls between October 31 and November 2nd. More than 40 of them coming from the same number and they was able to trace it back to that uh, white supremacist terrorist, okay? Now in one of the calls, they stated that he threatened to beat up Lemon. He called network again that day and was verbally abusive toward an operator. The next day he called CNN six times in the span of 23 minutes. During one of the calls, as we, we were looking at this, Matthews asked the operator to help him kill Lemon, then called back and asked to be directed Lemon's dead body hanging from a tree. So that's what this guy has stated. Um, they stated that, of course, he's been a target of death threats um, in the past, but now it's been ratcheted up since he made that particular commentary. But like I said before, they're only making Don Lemon right. As I, I told y'all many times, you can say whatever you want to say about Pookie and Ray Ray, but I know what Pookie and Ray Ray are capable of. I know what Pookie and Ray Ray are going to do. I can look at Pookie and Ray Ray and tell if he's going to act up. But when it comes to people like that individual you saw on the screen, the thing is, they don't know restraint. See, we as black folks know the letter of the law in this country. We know that. We know we can't get away with crap. We can't. We can't walk down the street without being harassed. But people like that guy, um, he can do whatever he wants. He can say what he wants. It takes an act of Congress to get him arrested for what he's doing. Because black people are not protected in this society at all. They're really not. So we are on our own. Okay, so they arrest him, so they charge him. Don't mean the jury is going to convict him. And nine times out of 10, it's going to be a predominantly white jury. Um, they don't have no laws in this country to state that the jury must be um, equal in the area of race. They don't push that. And they don't push that in this country because they want to make sure to be to stack the juries because they understand how white juries are going to vote on uh, cases. So, you know, when they have people like look like them come in court a lot of times, um, you know, they could sympathize with them. Not all the time, but they could. Oh, he reminds me of, you know, my uncle. He reminds me of my brother. I just think he has mental illness. I don't think he should be locked up. I think he needs treatment. You know, it's always mental illness at the end of the day. You know, we'll see with this situation, if this gonna stick, if, if he gonna get in jail time. But, you know, if you wanna be mad at Don Lemon, 
come at him in an intellectual level, prove him wrong. Don't prove the man right. It's the same thing I say when it comes to me. Don't make me right. Like prove me wrong. I always say that. It's better to do that than actually like reinforce what I say as well. well leave me a comment and let me know what you think about the situation with Don Lemon. Don Lemon has now become a target of the white supremacist terrorist. And you know, Hey, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, you know, I don't know that if he's trying to speak up more, I don't know. I'm constantly paying attention to what Don Lemon is saying now and see if he's going to be consistent or it's just going to be like a new flavor of the week.